Mathematics Workbook 4, page 12. Today we're only doing one page. At the top, match the following. So for this, I'd like you to use a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, that's fine. Then you need to try and draw your lines very straight. Okay. So these are ordinal numbers. We've spoken about them in a previous video. It's when you put something into an order. There's two ways of writing these numbers. Either you can write the numbers like this, with a number and some letters at the back, first, or you can write them like this in words, first. Okay, all you need to do is match up first and first, second and second, third and third. So you need to match up those that are the same. I'm just going to read them for you quickly. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay, please draw nice straight lines. Next one, problem solving. Okay, problem solving is where we, we draw a picture and we make a sum. Okay. Granny and Granddad have five apples each. So Granny has five apples and Granddad has five apples. How many apples do they have together? Okay, so for your drawing you can draw Granny's five apples over here and Granddad's five apples over here. You don't need to draw Granny and Granddad, just draw the apples. Five over there and five over there. And they want us to know how many apples they were all together. So would that be a plus or would that be a minus sum? Yes, that would be a plus. So your sum is going to be 5 plus 5. And remember to write your answer in the bubble. Next one. Mom buys 12 apples. My sister and I share it equally. Equally again means the same. So your sister and you have to have the same number of apples. How many apples do we each get? Now, for this one, your picture is a little bit different. You start by drawing all 12 apples. So here at the bottom, draw the 12 apples. Then again, when we want to share, we take two colors. And we start coloring them from each side. So let's say we're doing green and red apples. We'd color one green this side, one red, one green, one red, one green, one red, until all our apples are colored in. Then your sister would get the green ones and you would get the red ones. Okay, you would draw your sum as the red ones plus the green ones equals to 12. And you'd write in there how many apples would you each get. So how many would you get? You'd write in there or how many would your sister get. It would be the same number. Okay, it's sharing equally. At the bottom, complete the following. Now there's a whole lot of different things for us to do here. Let's have a look. First one says half of 10. I remember we've done halving before. And we've done doubling before. Half is again like we just did in this one where you needed to half the number 10. So sometimes you might just know what half of 10 is. If you don't know what half of 10 is, you would then use your blocks to do that. For your abacus. So I would move there's my 10 blocks and I want to cut them in half. So what I can do is one this side, one this side, one this side, one this side until I have them in half. This side needs to be the same as that side. Altogether there was 10, half, and half of 10 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Half of 10 is 5. Okay, that one I gave to you. Next, 
something comes after 34. Now think about the number 34. What number comes next? Okay, comes after means comes next. So if I was counting, what would what number would I say after I say 34? If you're not sure, you can go and look at your number chart for that one. And this one is double three. Remember we said double means you need to plus the two numbers together, the two same numbers. So it would be three plus three when you write the answer. What is three plus three? Seven plus four, that's just a normal sum. Work out what is seven plus four. One less than 22. So if you had 22 of something and you needed to give one away, what number would you be left with? One less. It's the number that comes before 22. Okay. What comes after 27? So the number that comes after 27. If I was counting and I said 27, what am I going to say? After 27. Write it there. 1 less than 10, less, less means minus, okay, if I had a number line I would be jumping to the left because it's getting smaller, less, 1 less than 10, it's also the number that comes before 10, double 9, again double like this one, means plus the same number together, 9 plus 9, Work out what double nine is. Then this we did in our video yesterday. We learned what half was. Remember this is how half is written. Half plus half is equal to what? Remember with the vegetables. We had half a potato plus half a potato. Left me with one whole potato. Yeah, what comes before 19? Again, the number that would be before 19 in the number line. That's also the one be one smaller than 19. This is a normal sum, 15 minus 0. So I'm taking away nothing. I have 15, I'm taking away nothing. What am I left with? And the last one, four tens. In this booklet we also did tens. Four tens is how much? Remember I said for the blocks, I, to make one ten I would have ten blocks. Let's really count here. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more. Ten. This is one stick of ten. That's one ten. Now they're saying you have four tens. You have four of these sticks. How many blocks would you have? So there's one. Pretend I had four of these. How many blocks would be in four tens? If you're not sure, you can just work it out. That's the end of today's video.